lovelies and welcome back to crazy but not dangerous i'm shorty vaughn and today for dinner we're gonna have um fajitas yeah absolutely um i bought some beautiful ribeyes over at the albertsons this weekend well andrew actually talked me into them because i told him we have plenty of beef we did not need them but he really wanted them and they were on sale for 5.77 a pound which is a pretty good value for ribeyes and these were thick and delicious looking so I smoked them out on the Traeger for a couple of hours and um, one of our applications for these ribeyes is going to be fajitas I'm super excited he's super excited and I can tell you that the little dog he is almost beside himself yeah he's just all twitchy so Yay, hooray, fajitas. Okay, got a little olive oil here. I'm going to put about two tablespoons in my pan. I'm going to go ahead and crank that up to about a six and get that going. Also have this onion. It's got an ugly spot. I didn't get this one off of the scratch and dent rack. I bought it paid full price for it and it still has an ugly spot but I'm not gonna throw it away I'm just gonna cut that ugly spot out it is perfectly okay to cut off the ugly parts put them in the compost pile or what have you um so I've got that all taken care of just a little housekeeping on my onion it's perfectly okay to cut off the the ugly spots now my sister baby sister would probably just throw it away and go get another one um, but I think it's better to just trim off the bad part. <clears throat> Even if you had to cut half of the onion away, it's still better than throwing the whole thing in the trash. Just peel off the rest of this. And I'm just going to cut this into big hearty chunks because that's the way we like it. You slice it any way you want. Gordon Ramsay does not care. Hey, but if you see him... Bring him on down, because I would love to meet him. Yeah, yeah, or Paul Hollywood. Either one, either one, absolutely. And what are we going to do? I'm just going to go ahead and slice this in half. And then, of course, you know, my favorite cut is just, you know, half moons. Like I said, though, so we want these pretty substantial. So I am going to, this knife needs sharpening. Um, yeah, pretty thick slices. I, I can handle it. I can dig it. Um, because that's about all the heat that I want in my kitchen. It's a little tiny bit. Yesterday got to be 113. It even surprised me. Today I think we're only hitting about the 110 mark, but it is hot. No doubt about it. Got that all taken care of. Got my bag of red peppers. And I already have cut these into strips. Um, got these scratch and dent over at the 99 cents only store a few months back. And I have just been trying to work my way through these bags. These were a great buy. I think I spent like $3 and ended up with like two of these bags full of roasted red peppers. Um, full of red peppers. Pardon me. They're not roasted yet wish i had green and yellow to make my fajitas extra vibrant but you know these were a bargain it'll be all right so i'm going to go ahead and just toss my onion in there we go and i am just going to put plenty of these frozen red peppers right in here Probably like two good handfuls because that's the best part of fajitas. You know, the onions and the peppers and the yummy strips of steak. Gonna just go ahead and give these a little toss up in here. It already smells so good. They're delicious. I just put the lid on keep the heat on the inside I'm, I'm 
Yeah, I have I have regrets about not enough peppers, maybe. Maybe just one more handful. Yeah. There we go. Now I feel good about that. Yay, hooray. Fajitas, quick, simple, easy. And because my steak is already mostly prepared, I just really need to sweat down these vegetables. And um, yeah, yeah, let me show you my steak. So the steaks were enormous. And then we had one steak um, that we split between the two of us because it was all, it was an entire pound. And yeah, I can't eat an entire single steak by myself. And he shouldn't. For health and well-being, nobody needs that much red meat, I don't think. You know, maybe if you're an athlete. We are not. By a long shot. So this was really well marbled. And I'm not mad at that at all. I did cook it very rare um, because I knew that I would be reusing this steak in a few applications. So this actually turned out to be just slightly over a pound. It was the largest one in the package. Today, Andrew enjoyed a nice steak sandwich with provolone cheese. He loved that. And um, yeah, so I sliced it about that thick. And I think that's going to be the perfect size for fajitas. Yeah, and we might even have enough steak left over so that he can have a uh, ribeye sandwich tomorrow. And he just thinks that that's fantastic. And honestly, this was five seventy-seven for a pound. At my deli, there's hardly any deli meats at the Albertsons that are you know, less than six, seven dollars per pound. So, you know, he gets a little ribeye steak sandwich every once in a while. I think that's okay. And pretty much comparable to what we would pay for, you know, ham, turkey, chicken. I think that looks super yummy. And the smells, it's got them all. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and Chris, these up. You know what's funny is that when you go eat at a Chili's and someone orders the fajitas, um, when that order comes through, the chef doesn't put on one order of fajitas. He actually puts on a couple of orders of fajitas because as that sizzles through the dining room, at least one more person will order the fajitas because of the sizzle and the smell and those, you know, cute little skillets. I don't have one of those. I've got some big ones, but you know, we're just going to have ours on a plate. It'll be all right. So Andrew and I love to play Scrabble. It's terrible, and but we are super competitive even with each other. You should see us at Jeopardy. We backstab each other and yell over each other with the answers. Anyhow, we love to play Scrabble. And one night we're sitting at the dining room table and we're playing Scrabble and I'm kicking his butt, and I'm having such a good time, and he looks at me and he says, you're not going to be very happy. And I said, I'm not going to be very happy. How come? And he lays it out, and the word on a triple word score was fajita. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking in total disbelief. You use the F and the J on a triple, and yeah, yeah, and, and oh my goodness, anyhow, he kicked my butt that night, and I had been real cocky, I kept, you're not going to beat me, you're not going to, anyhow, he put me in my place, and every time we eat fajitas, you know, we have this conversation, remember when I got fajita and scrabble, yes, yes, who could ever forget, who could, Maybe we'll play Scrabble tonight after Jeopardy. Yeah. Fajitas, Jeopardy, Scrabble. Sounds like the trifecta. I was thinking, like, what am I going to serve with it? You know, rice, beans. Well, you know, the tortillas are already kind of our starch. And, <clears throat> and we have plenty of protein with the steak. And we have veg. But then I was thinking, you know... Just a little salad, just a little romaine, maybe some tomato. 
cucumber if I can find any in the in the refrigerator. Got these romaine hearts today over at the Albertsons. These were one of my free items. And you know, I always check the bottoms because with the with the vegetables that they cut, however however dark this is, is a really good indicator on how fresh it's going to be, how long you might last. So yeah, I was really happy to find these. They actually only had a couple of packages. Their entire produce department was pretty much wiped clean from 4th of July. Anyhow, they look terrific. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slice the whole thing. Taking off the little ratty edges. Nobody likes that. And the rest will go into compost. And we'll just have a little side salad. Or you can or you can pack your, you know fajita with it make it more like a taco if you want that's fine with me so long as you're getting your veg in doesn't really matter and some tomatoes the tomatoes at my store have not been much they're kind of you know under ripe over ripe everything but just right but, you know, we're grateful to have them. Some tomato is better than no tomato. I've got some asparagus today over at the Albertsons. It was on sale for $1.77 per pound. This one came in at just a little bit over for a one pound. But I had a coupon for a dollar off asparagus. I Yeah, I got it through that game. Gives you coupons, too. Anyhow, so I chose this one because it had the best bottoms just like you know my romaine the best bottoms and i can't eat it today because we've already determined that our menu was the um fajitas not going to get to it today but what i will do is go ahead and have like a little jar here with one about one inch of water and i will just go ahead and trim up the bottoms on these just like you would cut flowers just a little rough chippity chop. Boy, I have got to sharpen this knife. This knife is the pit. Anyhow, just give them a little chippity chop. And then I'll take my asparagus and put it into the water just so that it is covering the bottoms. Come on, guys, get on in there. You know, if they don't all fit, you might need a second cup or you can have a little snack. Okay, now I have two, and they both have about an inch of water in them. And I want to make sure that all of my asparagus tips are in the bottom and nothing's too squished. And there we go. They've got plenty of room to move around. They look like they're doing good. Got some plastic bags here. Aren't these fun and festive? Got these for 50% off um, after the holidays. Yeah. And then what I'll do is very carefully just kind of make a little greenhouse for them in this plastic bag. Hello. The gallon seemed too large and the sandwich seemed too small. But this one, ah, there we go. Got it on. And then I'll just cinch it up around here. Don't squish the tops. Those are the best part. And then I will just go ahead and park these into my refrigerator. We'll probably eat them tomorrow. Um, but I love asparagus. And I uh, want to keep it as nice as possible until we can consume it. Be a good steward of your veg. Here we go. 
Gonna keep it nice and fresh in the refrigerator. You ain't right. Don't forget to save your elastics. You might need these for something else. I've got a whole collection. Okay, as these cook, they have released quite a bit of their own juices. And they look terrific. Smell even better. I am going to add a little bit of this McCormick Grill Mates Mojito Lime Marinade. Um, because I don't have any fresh lime today. Forgot it at the Albertsons. Oh well, this will be just fine. It'll add just that little bit of zing that you want with your fajitas. So add some of that to it. I don't know. Maybe all of it. That's fine. Also have a little bit of taco seasoning. It's already open. This is from Signature Select. And we're not that picky about our taco seasoning. Use your favorite. And I am going to go ahead and put... Oh, about half of the remainder in there. Save the other half for the next time we have fajitas. And I'll just go ahead and stir this up. If I think it needs a little bit more liquid, which I think it does, yep, I'll just go ahead and add some. And I don't know, maybe that's about a quarter cup. Maybe. I don't think it needs much just a little bit of liquid to season up. There's peppers and onions and then eventually our steak. Now I did cook my steak quite rare because I knew I would be reheating it and I didn't want to cook it to death twice you know so it's got a great smoke flavor on it from the grill. It's got plenty of marbling. That's Andrew's favorite part. Okay we're like Jack Spratt you know Jack Spratt could eat no fat his wife could eat no lean except in reverse. So he'll enjoy all of the parts with the little fatty bits. And then, you know, I'll have the leaner strips that I've put over on this side. That way we're both happy. You know, he, yeah, you just got a marital harmony. That's all I got to say about it. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to let these cook a little bit more. And then I'll show you how I reheat my steak. Okay, so there's our piping hot and just bubbling away. I'm going to go ahead and add my steak now and add quite a bit of it, some for both of us, and I think that'll just about do it. The rest of it he can have for a steak sandwich for lunch, so just a little bit left over. Probably just enough for a really good sandwich. Then what I'm going to do is take this off the heat just kind of spread my meat around in here and pop the lid on and the residual heat from those onions and peppers that spicy sauce that we've created with the seasoning packets yeah that'll just heat that meat up it won't cook it to death, but um, just it'll just heat it up enough. It'll be super yummy and delicious. Now I've got a cast iron skillet here. Um, I don't have any oil in here. It's just well seasoned. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to about a five. That's a medium heat. And I'm going to just toast some tortillas. Got these over at the Albertsons. They were not a bargain. Um, it was buy one, get one free, but still, it wasn't a bargain, but it was way too hot to make any more stops. So, yeah, these are a fun little fajita size. Andrew will probably need three. I've got two out for myself. That's going to be plenty. My pan is heating up, and um, yeah, just going to give those a, a little toast up. Got my salads in the refrigerator. Going to go put up the TV trays while this heats up. Okay, pan's pretty hot, and I'm just going to throw one down in there. And I just want to give these a little toast up. That's when they're the best. They even have some that are raw. Um, they're pretty pricey, but they are delicious if you can splurge on them. Then they taste like homemade. These will taste like I taking the time to warm them up. And of course, you can use tongs 
if you're so inclined, you know, safety first. And there we go. Just a little, just a little toast up. Extra yummy and delicious. You can make them as brown as you like them. Anyhow, I'm going to get these all going. And I'll show you what my plate looks like when we're all done. Yay, pray. The tortillas all nicely toasted. You can see that my steak is no longer rare. More like a medium, medium well. That's just fine. Little salad on the side. Won't hurt a bit. Yay, hooray. All right. All right, my lovelies. I can't talk. I gotta go eat fajitas. Be good, be careful. Look both ways. I'll see you next time. Yay, hooray.